guys, I hope you're well. Today I want to talk about a topic that is very close to home for me and that is whether or not you should be allowed to film in gyms. Now this has been in the news recently and I thought I'd come on here today to talk about my opinion and whether you should be allowed to or not. So this argument has come about because there has been a rising trend of fitness influencers filming themselves in the gym. And I'm not just talking people that take their phones in and film themselves doing a squat or take mirror selfies or whatever. I'm talking about people who take fully fledged tripods, like the one that my camera is on right now, into the gym to film themselves working out. Which, if you told people that 20 years ago, they'd think you're insane. There would be no way that this would even be a thing. And yet, here we are. And so now gyms across the UK are starting to crack down on people filming in their facilities. And I'm kind of on the fence with it. I think in some ways it's good and in some ways it's bad, especially being a fitness person myself who enjoys filming myself do stuff on my own Instagram. I think it'd be a really shame. I think it'd be a real shame to not be able to have that content anymore. But let's look at the reasons why the gyms are banning the use of filming equipment in their gyms and really what we can do about it. So their biggest concern, and I will link the article below, is overcrowding and consent by other people in the gym. Because of course, if you are filming yourself, that's perfectly fine. But if you are filming yourself in a vicinity where there's lots of other people, then that's not okay because those people didn't give their consent to be in your videos. And you will see it time and time again on TikTok and Instagram and many other social media apps. A lot of these people that film their workouts have people in the background or they even make the people in the background the star of the show whether that's them reacting to the bench press that they've just conquered or reacting to how good they look in their gym outfit. There's always more to it than meets the eye. And they are also worried that this could lead to bullying. So say you're not filming your own gym workout, but you're filming someone else working out that's a newbie at the gym that doesn't understand how the machine works or what they're really doing. And they're doing something wrong or something comical to you and you film it and put it online. And so there's a big concern there as well in that you're not only filming yourself, but you're filming others and that's not okay. And so I completely understand where these gyms are coming from. People go to the gym to work out. They don't go as a vanity contest for most people. Yes, some people make a living online through their fitness workouts, their regimes, their inspirational life, but that isn't the reality for everyone. And sometimes in certain gyms, especially the one that I go to, they have junior hour. So junior hour is when any um, child, I believe under the age of 16, can go into the gym and get a workout in whether they want to go with their parents or their friends or whoever. It's a really annoying hour, I won't lie to you, because a lot of them just stand around like it's a nightclub or something and they crowd machines, but none of them are using it. So it's like, are you using this? Are you not? Can I get my set in? Like, what's happening? But they will go there and they will be underage. They will be children, like teenagers, sure, but still, legally, children. And if you are filming, children that's not okay so there's a lot of qualms with this because you never know who is in the background you never know whether that person doesn't want themselves online for whatever reason doesn't want people to know what gym they go to a lot of social media influencers will also tag the gym that they go to so if you see your ex-girlfriend in the background of a video and you've been trying to track her down for whatever reason then all of a sudden it's a lot easier because there she is in the back of a video that she didn't consent to be in. It's a matter of privacy, a matter of safety and also just a matter of being reasonable human beings. If someone doesn't want to be filmed don't film them and what gives you the right to go into a place where people should feel safe and calm and somewhere where they can just get their workouts done and turn it into a huge fiasco because you want to post it online. And so what do I think about this? Now I'm very careful with how I film in the gym anyway. Most of the time when I film in the gym it'll be during hours when it's very quiet. I don't like filming in the gym anyway. Um, I find it quite embarrassing so if people are around I'm not going to be filming. But if it's quiet, if there's no one about, I will film myself if I so wish. 
whether that's to look at my form, whether that is to gain some likes on Instagram, whatever it might be, I give it a go because I enjoy it. But I always make sure that there's no one around because one, I don't want that to be embarrassing for me and two, I don't think it's fair. They didn't consent to be in my video, so why should they be in it? And so while I would be sad if my gym decided to stop people from filming, I would 100% get it and that wouldn't be a problem for me because there's so many other things that you can film that are still fitness related that don't involve you squatting in the gym like go for a run outside go cycling do a fitness event where you can wear a gopro do lots of things that don't involve a gym scenario or even do workouts at home and show them online because a lot of people can't afford a gym or don't want to go to a gym maybe because of all the filming that happens and so if you can cater to them at home then surely that's just as good as you filming in the gym and so while i don't have a problem with gyms deciding to stop people from filming i do have some points just in case you do have a problem with it or you want to still film but you don't know how to do it in a consensual way because you're so used to just whacking out your tripod and getting on with it so what i would say to people who still want to film in the gym is be sensible and i think for gyms that want to be able to have the best of both worlds and that some people want to film and some people want to stay anonymous and just enjoy their workouts i would say that regulation really needs to be done on a gym per gym basis if your gym doesn't want you filming done that's the end of it if your gym's happy for you to film great but also be prepared for them to call you out if you do it in an unsavory manner that annoys other people there so first and foremost out of my top three things if you want to continue filming at the gym but being smart with it is position your phone in such a way that no one else can be seen so say you want to film you doing hip thrusts you can usually move the um, hip thrust bench into an area that is against a wall so then you can put your phone up somewhere else away from you and then all that's behind you is a wall there are no people in the background there's no one to be seen and so it's just you and the camera and that's it i think that's perfectly fine because you're not getting in anyone else's way now if there are people in the background of where you want to film don't film film something else especially for me with my social media i schedule things so when you see me going on a run for example i'm not actually going for a run like that happened like two weeks ago like that's not me right now and so i find it really interesting that why can't you just film something else why can't you just go and film a bench press or something else on your leg day like you could film split squats instead of a real squat you could film you doing a bench press instead of a shoulder press whatever but just be mindful of who's around you and make sure that they're not in your video because that's really messed up i think and i have seen online some people who ask if pe if the other people are okay with them filming that's fine especially if you show the consent in the video because then it can't be used against you but i find that embarrassing i can't go up to someone and be like hey can i film myself a minute that's just weird so i'd rather wait until they're all gone so yes position yourself in a way where other people can't be seen and if you want to film a certain thing and people are in the background or whatever, film something else. Like, it's not the end of the world if you can't get your perfect shot of you doing some squats. <laughs> and the other way to work around that first point of you wanting to film something super important but you can't because other people are there is go at a different time. So if you only do leg day once a week, for example, and so you want to film your leg day content on that day, but you know your usual time, it's really busy, go at a different time. I always found, especially in the winter, the mornings were basically dead. There was probably five of us at most. And so that was a really good time to film because no one was around. Or right at the end of the day, um, my gym is open till I think like 10 p.m. Most people are gone by then, like they're already in bed or they're with their families or whatever. And so going that late, maybe it's not perfect for you, but if you want to film yourself, you've got to work around it because it's not always going to be perfect. So really early in the morning is great, really late at night is great. And if you go to a 24 hour gym, like I used to, you could also just go in the middle of the night. <laughs> like it's all lit up. No one's gonna be around because who wants to work out at 2.30 in the morning? And then you could literally just batch film content, go into the changing rooms, change your gym clothes if you so wish, and then go back out and film some more. Like you could literally get so much content done, especially if you don't mind not doing actual full workouts because you're not gonna post a full workout, you're gonna post little snippets because no one's gonna watch a full workout. If you don't mind not doing a full workout, just go in the middle of the night and get it done. 
because that's super handy, really easy, and literally no one's going to be there. So no embarrassment and you've got the whole place to play around with. And finally, if your gym won't allow you to film, if they make the decision that no, no one can film in this place anymore, then respect it. Don't try to get around the wall rules. Don't try and swindle it and get away with it because they've got CCTV cameras and they can just revoke your subscription, your membership like that if they so wished. And so if your gym says, no, we don't want to film anymore and you really want to film, go to another gym. <laughs> like that's all I can say. If you want to film yourself in the gym and your gym doesn't allow that, go somewhere else. Don't try to break the rules. Don't try to get around it. Don't get in trouble for the sake of some likes on Instagram or TikTok. Just go to another gym that allows you to film and film there. It's not the end of the world. It's not the worst thing that could ever happen. It's literally just places making rules that they want to make. And so, yeah, those are my top three tips if you want to keep filming. Go somewhere new if you can't film anymore or suck it up and just don't film there. Um, Make sure that your angles don't have people in the background or ask consent from those people and include that in the video first, if you so wish. And go at unsociable hours. So go in the middle of the night, go early in the morning or late at night because then the gym will be quieter and so you'll have less likely, and so you're less likely to have people in the back of your videos. But that's my opinion on it. I think it is a good thing. I think things go too far with trends like this. I take my iPhone, I find, take my phone, I find a random machine that's not in use and no one's around, I prop my phone up, I do my workout and then I pick my phone up again, done. And even when people find me I immediately grab it up because I'm like oh I don't want to be embarrassed. But when you're taking full tripods and ring lights and actual filming equipment that isn't just your phone I think that's a bit insane and absurd and literally People are just gonna scroll past your stuff online anyway. No one will actually care that much. So try not to be the main character. Like I know you're the main character of your life and all that, but there's other people in the world too that you should be respectful of. And if you're taking a full tripod ring like setup to your gym to film your workout for some likes on TikTok, you need some perspective because that's a bit insane. But let me know what you think. Do you think that's perfectly valid? Do you think people should be allowed to do that? I think people should be allowed to do that. I just think you need to reprioritize your life if you think that's the most important thing and this is the end of the world. But yes, I would love to know what you think in the comments below. I'm Shona, I post new health and fitness content every week on Sunday at 5 p.m. I used to do, um, Wednesdays and Sundays but I've changed it up now as we come into the new year which I'm really excited about and yes I'd love to see you around next time so make sure you like if you enjoyed the video subscribe for more health and fitness content I will see you next time <laughs> bye